And today, high school students are testing their skills at Weber State University's Auto Tech competition. And that's exactly where Scott McCain is. He joins us live where the championship round has just started. Scott, good morning. Game on, guys. Just got underway a few minutes ago and sounding the opening bell or the opening horn was George Ahrens from ASC Educational Foundation. Uh, you're based out of Texas, but you put on competitions like this around the country. Give viewers an idea of what a big deal this one is here at Weber State. It, it's, it's huge because we have all this local talent in the local schools and very rarely do the employers get to see that talent while they're in school. This competition provides an opportunity for three students for six to eight weeks to shadow in that dealership and other places of business so the technicians get to know these kids, teach them some things, and now today, the vehicles they've been preparing or learning on are sitting here bugged, just like a customer vehicle, and they have two hours to diagnose and repair. And we have dealers like Larry H. Miller. That's pre five of the schools here are represented by them. So they're involved and that's what it is getting involved in your local programs and the clock is ticking right the now they've got they three. only have two hours to diagnose repair and type into the repair order just like a professional technician and what they really get paid for is writing on or typing into the repair order and if they fix everything but type nothing they don't get paid here they don't get points <laughs> and this is a fairly new facility here at the latent extension of weber state uh, basically a state-of-the-art facility incredible i travel the country and this is one of those state-of-the-art facilities they're clearly into electrical and ev training and they have been their pioneers and you're blessed to have a school like this in your state uh, also they have a bachelor's degree in automotive technology which means students from all over the country come to weber state and the folks in Weber State have been doing competitions since 1987. But what they decided is to go to the format that we work on at the foundation to literally allow the employers to see their future workforce in their own place of business. That's incredible. George Aarons, thank you so much for joining us live. Thanks. I'm going to let him get back. He's going to monitor the competition that, again, is now officially underway. Uh, the top three students from the top 12 schools throughout the state competing here at the Weber State University Layton campus. And a little later on today on Hawks 13 News Live at 4, we hope to have some updates on the winners of this competition. For now, we're live in Layton. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah. It's not a quick fix. you got to work hard on those cars. Two to three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Scott.